Hi all, here we go again. We're going to look at some drug calculations and there's some um, things that you need to have in place or some ideas that you need to have in place before you can really address um, medication dosing. So let me just pop these on the board real quick. Okay, so I've put together just some quick brief notes here that we can start working through and talking about. So what do we mean when we say DO over DOH? Well, what we're trying to get at is we, we want you to be able to give your medication. So this stands for doctor's order. So what the doc is ordering you to give. So this is what you give. And then you're going to have underneath it the dose on hand. Here, this is dose on hand. So it's what you have. What you have in front of you. So there's always some rules that come with doing drug calculations. And you'll hear me say them over and over again. These are kind of like my little uh, lingo notes here. So just kind of bear with me and you'll see how these apply here shortly but we always start on the bottom so when we're talking about the fractions we always make the, the we always start down here on the bottom we never start on the top we always start on the bottom then we're going to make it a whole number whenever you can you want to make it a whole number so for example it should be a fraction of 250 over 1 because that's going to be a whole number of 250 and we always divide the bottom into the top so if we had this here and we were wanting to divide it the bottom is going to be divided into the top and this is where the bottom goes on the outside so if you can imagine I'm going to pop it over here so you can see it 250 over 1 and what I'm saying is we're going to divide the bottom into the top so when we look at that the bottom is on the outside of the dividing box. So that's what that means by bottom on the outside. So if you can remember, divide the bottom into the top with the bottom on the outside, then you're good to go. You'll always be able to figure it out. So that's the first step. Okay. So popped up a fresh page for you so that we can work through the simple stuff. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take something practical that we normally would deal with. So we're going to look specifically at um, epinephrine. And we're going to say the doctor has ordered us to give one milligram of epinephrine. Well, that's going to be on the top. But when you pick up the vial or the pre-filled syringe, you're looking at that and you're like, well, how do I do this? Well, on the box, it will say how much you have in your hand or dose on hand and in this case it's 0.1 milligrams per milliliter so that's what it would that's what a drug calculation would look like to start and we're, we're starting with the simple stuff and we'll kick it up a notch but the bottom if you looked at the bottom you said well that looks like a fraction you would be right you could put 0.1 milligrams and you could put it over the milliliters so that looks more like the fractions we know and we always said that we wanted it to be over a whole, to make it a whole number so if you really think about this this is point 0.1 milligram equals one milliliter so it is at its best uh, the whole whole number form so there's nothing we can do with the bottom so the bottom's good to go we've got that taken care of now we're going to move to the top so if you recall we talked about the bottom has to divide into the top. So if you look here, you're going to take this bottom number and you're going to divide it into the top. And that bottom number is always going to be on the outside of the dividing, um, the division line. Now we went over the, the division or we had some videos just to remind you about those decimal point placements and how we need to do that long division so if you need to refer back to that please do um, but we're going to go ahead and move forward as though we are good to go so this means that our answer is 10 because 1 goes into 1 one time 
we're going to bring down this zero. That gives us another zero. And one will go into zero, zero times. So we have 10. So the answer to this is going to be 10. But then we also have a question here. What are we going to name it? What's going to be the last name? Well, you've got these milligrams in common. So let's cross them out. Let's get rid of those. We don't need them. I hate that daggone line. It drives me crazy. All right, there you go. We don't need those. So the only thing you're left with is what? You're left with milliliters. So your answer is 10 milliliters. So that's how much of the vial you would be giving. 10 milliliters worth of solution. Now, I think now is a good time to kind of bring up also that there's some there there is something to remember about medications uh, in terms of what how those work. And if you've been watching the videos and you've you've listened in class, you should have a pretty good solid grasp on this. But just to go over it again, we're, when we talk about milligrams, we are referencing, if you will. And then milliliters is when you're dealing with the fluid. So this is your med. This is the actual medication. But down here, we're talking about the fluid that it's dissolved in. So milligram is always dealing with the powder. It's always dealing with the medication itself. Milliliters is how much is it dissolved into. So in, in, in short, you have solutes that are dissolved into a solvent. And because you have solutes, which is your milligrams, and they're dissolved into the solvent, which is your milliliters, this equals out to being a solution. So just a quick reminder of how that works. Ordered dose. And in your little pudgy paw, you have a, a vial or a pre-filled syringe that reads that you have three milligrams per milliliter. So we're starting on the bottom. We look at this. This is a whole number. This would be three over one. So we're good there. So now we know that we're going to divide and we're going to divide the bottom into the top. You've got things in common. Get rid of the things you've got in common. Let's get rid of those. And we're going to divide. So the three is going to be on the outside of the six. And that means that our answer is two milliliters. Now some of you are probably looking at it going, well that was extraordinarily easy and, and we shouldn't even have to do that question. But that's why we're doing it, because it is that easy. So you can see how simple these are to do in your mind. Everybody gets freaked out when they look at drug calculations. They think, oh, I'll never be able to do it. If you will at least just take the time to pause and think about what you're holding in your hand, you can usually figure them out on your own without even having to do the drug calculation. I strongly, strongly encourage everyone to practice drug calculations. Write them out the whole way because the mistakes are commonly made when we're involving any type of decimal. Anytime there's a decimal, the decimals have a tendency to get moved, so that seems to be a problem, and also the long division. So if you get the chance, you need to sit down and try to do these long hands so you can kind of get used to it, okay? And that's gonna be it for this video. We will step it up a notch with the next one.